guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. Now you may have noticed there's no sketch this week. Well that's with good reason. I have absolutely zero time this week to make an episode of the show, but I still wanted to make an effect that's both easy and at the same time, easy to screw up. So let's check out a request. Don't interrupt Ethan, we're trying to do a show. As you can see, we have a demon eyes request from Supernatural, a zoom eyes request from The Flash, and also a request for demon eyes from... Ugh, Charmed. Why did people watch that show again? Oh, right. Now in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor just doing their thing. No special anything required here, but if possible, take a still of what they're looking at from their perspective, because that will come into play later. But it's not totally necessary. Now let's get to work. Okay gang, you know where we are and you know what we're doing. I've got my comp set up and it's all ready to go. Nothing complicated, just me staring at the camera. So our first step is to add two null objects. We can then name one right and name one left. Now to track our eyes, let's select our footage, head over to tracker and hit track motion and make sure the only position down here is checked. If you can't find the tracker, just head up to window and it's in that menu. We'll then select a nice crisp point. This will do just fine. And of course, head over and hit that play button. Looks like a nice track. So let's hit edit target, select our right eye null, hit OK, apply, and OK. From there, let's do it all over again for the left eye. I'm gonna speed this up because it's kind of like watching that next Karate Kid movie. After you've seen it once, you really don't wanna see it again. So now that we have both of our eyes tracked, let's head up and grab a new solid. And before you say, I know, it's gonna be black, right? No, it's not. What we're gonna do here is grab the eyedropper and make it the same color as our pupils and then click OK. So why did we do that? Simple, your pupils are black, so they represent the shade of black that you shot in camera. So why would you make them any darker? They won't blend in, smart. From there, turn the solid layer off. Let's then head up, grab the pen tool and draw a mask around the inside of the eye. You can go as detailed or as simple as you like. I mean, I don't mind, it's your shot. Then once you're done, turn the solid layer back on, hit F and feather it out anywhere from one to say 10 pixels. We'll then parent it to the right eye null and check out a preview. Well, that isn't done. Our next step here is to follow it up with some more masks. And this time we want to target any white spots on the eye. You can usually find at least one or two. We'll then collapse down the mask menu and change the transfer mode on each of them to subtract. We'll then hit F and you'll only need to feather these out around one to 15 pixels based on your shot. The closer your eye is to the camera, the more feathering. Much better. Now all we have to do is rinse and repeat this for the other side. I'm gonna skip that step with a transition so we can move on to the final step. There we go. So here's the part that damn near every demon eye tutorial out there skips. Reflection. Your eyes are glassy. They reflect stuff, even black eyes. So we're gonna cheat and add a still to act as a reflection. So over in the project window, I have a pic of myself doing my keep learning salute. So let's drag and drop that into the comp. We'll then scale it down to around the size of my eye like so. From there, let's grab the ellipse tool and draw an oval around our image like so, so that it stays in the confines of our eye. We'll then feather it out a crap load. Now if you like, you can also flip that image so it looks like a mirror reflection of what you've shot. To do that, just head up to layer, transform and flip horizontal. Easy as pie. Now, let's make it pop out like a fisheye lens, as it would. Head up to effect, distort and add bulge. I'm just gonna crank up the horizontal and vertical until it looks appropriately bulgy. Nice. We'll then hit T and bump the opacity down to 5%. And of course, our final step is to parent that still to our null object corresponding with our eye. Rinse and repeat the same steps for our other eye and let's check out a preview. And that, my amigos, is another shot done. Now guys, before you ask about blinking or any sort of eye or head movement, head down to the description and we have plenty of other eye tutorials that I've already made that cover those areas. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. No, not that. This. So that's my take on demon eyes, zoom eyes, uh, charmed eyes. As I mentioned, most tutorials just use a black solid, well they use an adjustment layer to darken the eyes, and they kind of forget that eyeballs actually reflect stuff, 
Having some kind of reflection and keeping those white spots really sells the effect. But that's my time, gang. If you enjoyed the episode, please like and share it. If you're new here, possess that subscribe button. I also have the Facebook and the Twitter. Now before I go, gang, there's going to be a channel update later this week that contains both some exciting news and some sucky news too. So stay tuned for that, and until next time, keep learning!